say blessings to you and good morning. Welcome to our National Church of God by Faith prayer call. Once again, I am your host for this National Prayer Call, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than Presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our uh, district father and elder in the person of uh, Dwayne Ganey, uh, Gainesville District, and we thank God for every one of you that are on this call, every district, glory to God, north, south, to the east, up and down, and all the way out west. We thank God for everyone that has joined us on this call. The word of God has told us, hallelujah, Jesus himself declares men are always to pray and not to faint, not to lose heart or turn coward. But even before that, way back in Proverbs chapter 8, the Lord said, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. There's something about crying out to God and, and seeking his will and direction, uh, his comfort, his insight early in the morning while the dew is still on the windshield, while the grass is still wet. There's a blessing in it. So we thank God that that's what we're doing. We thank God for every one of you. And um, we are fired up, as, <laughs> as you know me to be. Uh, we're on 10 and lit and all the rest of it because uh, this morning we're joined by a dynamic prayer leader. Uh, I thank God for this woman of God, Evangelist Pamela McCullough, South Carolina District. And we thank God for her being positioned to be our prayer leader and to guide us. Uh, as we cry out to God this morning, uh, I want to say that the national prayer team has asked that we as a church, that we would pray boldly and confidently this morning that God will protect and shield the church of God by faith. God will protect and shield the church of God by faith. I said it uh, before the onset of this call, but houses of worship are now becoming very quickly crime scene in the United States, uh, around the world, uh, New Zealand. Uh, we remember the Muslim mosque uh, that uh, people, scores of individuals were murdered and assassinated uh, by a bigoted, uh, antichrist spirit-filled gunman. And so uh, we remember the uh, mosque, I mean, we remember that there in New Zealand, but we remember Jewish synagogues here in the United States, um, in Pennsylvania, uh, individuals being killed and shot down. And so there is, as I said, an escalation where houses of worship are turning into crime scenes and month by month. And so if, there was, if we were blind and not awake, to the fact that there is an onslaught of fear. The enemy is trying to produce fear like never before in people and in the individuals. And even those of us that know the one true God, uh, God. So we thank God for what we realize and see that's happening. But I want to lift up the word of God in uh, Psalms 125. The word of the Lord tells us this. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people, from henceforth even forever. <laughs> Glory to God. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. But the word of the Lord is, has declared that we that trust in the Lord will be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed and abide forever, as the mountains are around Jerusalem. Think about these mountain ranges and these high hills. That's the way the Lord is around his people. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, Proverbs tells us that um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and they are saved. But Jesus himself uh, gives us confidence and gives us the security and gives us the understanding in our minds that he said that I will build, he, said, he decreed and declared and said that I will build my church. I'm talking about Matthew chapter 16 and verse 18. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell speaks of the, the strong bulwarks, um, the big guns, glory to God. 
uh, the strong, the, 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 uh, the enabled enemies, glory to God, the best weapons, the, the secret, top secret weapons. It speaks of the strong forces of the enemy. Everything that can be unleashed from hell, every plot, every agenda, every attack, it will not stand and will not prevail against the church of God and the people of God. And so we understand that there are threats out there, not just physical threats, but there is a, a move to silence. Uh, there's a move to neuter and to put a muzzle on preachers and men of God, teachers of the gospel, women of God that will cry out and declare the word of God. There is a, a move, a campaign of fear to get you to close your mouth. Children, that, that they won't go around the flagpole and pray. But we stand boldly on God's word and declare that God will protect and he will shield this church. And so it is with that now that we want to prepare to receive Evangelist Pamela McCullough. We want to join the woman of God. We want to elevate our voices with her. We are not spectators. No one is on the sideline. Everyone has on their cleats, and we are all in this game. And so with that, let's receive the woman of God and join her and elevate our voices in prayer. Come on, woman of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, it's again that we come first to tell you thank you. We thank you for, Lord God, our life, our health, our strength, oh God. We thank you first, oh God, for covering us in the name of Jesus as we slept. Oh God, we ask you right now, Lord God, that you will protect and shield the churches of God by faith. Oh God, you said in your word that those that trust in the Lord... Oh, God, hallelujah, shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, oh, God, that abides forever, Lord God. And as we pray, Lord God, we are reminded that despite Satan's repeated attacks, oh, God, that you have promised, oh, God, that we will always remain, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have encamped angels, oh, God, around us, oh, God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that you protected us, oh, God, from, oh, God, all the, Lord God, enemies' attacks, oh, God how he's attacked churches, oh God, and attacked people, Lord God, for no apparent reason, oh God. But God, we thank you right now that you are going to protect, oh God, and shield the church of God by faith. Oh God, we pray right now, Lord God, for our leadership, oh God, our bishop, oh God, our bishop emeritus in the board, oh God. We thank you for covering them, Lord God. We realize, oh God, that the enemy a lot of times tries to attack the head, oh God, and then he will be able to consume the body. Oh, God, of believers. But, God, we thank you right now that your protection, oh, God, is covering us, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray, Lord God, that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. Oh, God, in every tongue, oh, God, that shall rise up against, oh, God, us in judgment. You shall condemn it, oh, God. Oh, God, we ask right now, Lord God, hallelujah, oh, God, that every plan, every effort, oh, God, that is made by Satan, oh, God, as he tries to come, against the people of God, oh God. Oh God, that it won't work. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we realize that you are in control of everything. You are in control of all things, oh God. That means that if the weapon is formed against a believer, Lord God, it shall not prosper. Hallelujah. Oh glory, God, we thank you right now, Lord God. Oh God, that the enemy, Lord God, is under our feet, Lord God. Oh God, everything, Lord God, that he tries to do, Lord God, we decree and declare that it is canceled, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. You are our protection. You are our shield, oh God. You are our fortress, oh God. In you will we trust. In you we will hide, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, you said also in your word, oh God, that, oh God, upon this rock, hallelujah, that I will build my church and the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God, we thank you for being our living rock, oh God, on which the redeem, oh God, hallelujah, oh God, can lean on, oh God. We can depend on you, hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't care what the enemy tries to do. I don't care how he tries to form, oh God, everything that he plants, oh God, everything that he tries, oh God, it will not work, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, the churches of God by faith will stand, oh, God. The churches of God by faith will remain, oh, God. Oh, God, we will leave a legacy and a heritage, oh, God. Oh, God, to all people, Lord God, but especially those of us that are in this, oh, God, this church, oh, God. Oh, God, our youngsters, oh, God, that are coming up, oh, God. They are our heritage, oh, God. 
and we want you, Lord God, hallelujah, to protect this church, oh God, so that our young people will grow, oh God, in this, oh God. Learn, oh God, of what we stand for, Lord God, and that they will prevail, Lord God, even when the enemy comes in, oh God, and tries to distract us and distract our minds, oh God, that you, Lord God, will help them to hold up a standard, oh God, and for those of us that are here now, Lord God, Help us, O oh God, to be, O oh God, more of what you have called us to be, Lord God. Let us, O oh God, hold up clean and holy hands, O oh God. A standard, O oh God, hallelujah, that we are beacons of light, O oh God, that this dark world may see, Lord God. There's trouble all over the world, all over the land, O oh God. But God, we're believing that you're going to protect us, O oh God. I don't care, O oh God, if we're on the East Coast, the West Coast, in the center of the United States of America, overseas, wherever we are, Lord God. We ask for your guidance. We ask for your protection. We ask for your shield, oh God. Encamp those angels around us. Oh God, not only on our churches, but in our homes, oh God. On our jobs, in our communities, wherever we are, Lord God. Protect us, oh God, and shield us, oh God, from the enemy, Lord God. We know that he comes in to steal, to kill, and destroy. But, oh God, you said that I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Oh God, we can't have the abundant life, oh God, if we're not here, Lord God. So God, we ask you, Lord God, again, oh God, to continue to protect us, oh God. Continue to comfort, oh God. Give us peace, oh God, in the midst of our storms, oh God. Oh God, you said in your word, oh God, that the peace of God surpasses all understanding, oh God. So God, we're asking for your peace, oh God. We're asking for your comfort, oh God. We're asking for your protection, oh God. We're asking you for your shield, oh God. Oh God, we know that if you protect us, if you shield us, oh God, that we are protected indeed, oh God. Oh God, I don't care what the enemy, hallelujah, has planned. I don't care what the enemy has plotted, oh God. Oh God, you're a big God, hallelujah. And there's nothing, oh God, too hard for you, Lord God. Oh, God, we ask he can bring his, oh, God, his heaviest arsenal, Lord God. He can bring his best soldiers, oh, God. But we will stand, oh, God. We will prevail, Lord God. We will, Lord God, make it, oh, God. Because, oh, God, you said in your word, oh, God, that we will stand. Hallelujah. And, God, we bless you for it on today, Lord God. We bless you, hallelujah, for it, oh, God. We know, Lord God, hallelujah, oh, God, that you're a good God. Hallelujah. Your word is to be praised, oh, God. You, and your word can be trusted, oh God, because you cannot lie, Lord God. You said in your word that before, Lord God, your word returns void, that heaven and earth is going to pass away. And God, we believe your word. We trust your word. We eat on your word. And it helps us to grow and to be strengthened thereby. Oh God, we ask you right now, Lord God, to hear us, oh God, to hear the prayer of your people, Lord God. Oh, God, we know right now, Lord God, hallelujah, oh, God, that it needs more laborers, oh, God, in the skin yard. And, God, we're calling upon, oh, God, the people of God, the people of the churches of God by faith, oh, God, to rise up, oh, God, to stand, oh, God, and to be bold soldiers, oh, God, because we realize on today, Lord God, hallelujah, that we're not fighting, hallelujah, against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers and rulers of darkness, oh, God. Oh, God, it is spiritual warfare, Lord God. But, God, we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to seek your faith. We're going to continue to bless your name. God, because you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, hallelujah, of all the glory, of all the honor, hallelujah, of all the praise, oh, God. Oh, God, for every church, oh, God, that is standing, that is existing within the body of the churches of God by faith, God, we ask you just to surround it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Even if we're not having services there at the present moment, God, we ask that you guard it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we ask you to bless, oh God. Hallelujah. The property, Lord God. Oh God, the borders of the property, Lord God. Oh God, that when the enemy comes in, oh God, with his plans, oh God, that they can't even follow through, Lord God. Because, hallelujah, of the force, oh God, of the beloved God of, hallelujah, of us, hallelujah, is there to protect this place, oh God, that is able to keep it safe, Lord God. Oh God, even as we sleep, Lord God, we know that you're God that never slumbers and sleeps, Lord God, that you will be, hallelujah, there, Lord God, surrounding these churches, oh God, even on Sundays and Wednesdays and whatever night we have services, oh God. Oh God, we ask you right now to protect, oh God and shield, oh God. Oh God, we're going to speak, oh God, that no lie, oh God, within any church, but especially the churches of God by faith, 
oh God, will become, oh God, a point of danger, Lord God. Oh God, that no harm, no hurt, hallelujah, will come upon any of us in the name of Jesus. God, we know, Lord God, that you can do it. You can do all things. Oh God, and if you can't do it, oh God, it can't be done. So God, hallelujah, we lift our hands to you today. We praise you, oh God, today. We magnify your name today. For you are a good God, hallelujah, and you're worthy to be praised. Oh God, bless us, oh God. Keep us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know right now, Lord God, hallelujah. Oh God, the enemy, oh God, wants to destroy us. He wants to keep us silent, oh God. But now we're going to speak, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will trust in the Lord. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We give God the glory. We give him all the honor. We give him all the praise. We thank God that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth into it, and they are saved. We thank God that God has said in his word, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. We thank God that Jesus himself said, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates, the strong enemies of hell, shall not prevail against it. We thank God that where the enemy may be there, where the enemy may have materialized, may be threatening, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We're not ignorant of the threat. Hallelujah, glory to God. I'm not suggesting for a moment that we should not be walking around our churches, men and women, glory to God, while the service is going on. Thank you, Jesus. But Proverbs tells us, uh, and Psalms actually tells us in Psalms 32, that the wicked watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him, also in Psalms 37. So we're not suggesting that our eyes are not open. Watch as well as pray. We are aware of the uh, plans and the devices of the enemy. Glory to God. But we thank God that our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We thank God that the Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, is on our side, and we thank God that he himself has declared that as the mountains are around Jerusalem, so is he around those that trust in him. We thank God that we are the children of Abraham by faith. Hallelujah, glory to God. And that which was promised and spoken of him because of Christ is spoken of us. When he declared, I will bless them that bless you, and I will curse them that curse you, that which was spoken of him is spoken of us by faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we have safety and security, which is of the Lord. And I want to declare and say unto you right now, yes, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yes, we are aware. Our eyes are open. We should be and we are walking around our synagogue, walking around our houses of worship, our churches and our assemblies. We are uh, walking and we are aware. We're looking and we're seeing. But our confidence is this, that God will protect and shield the church of God by faith. Hezekiah was being threatened by Sennacherib in 2 Kings chapter 19. You might remember this passage of scripture. Sennacherib, this Assyrian wicked king, he sent a letter to Hezekiah and to the people of Israel and said that your God is a punk. Your God is weak. 
just like the gods of all those other nations that we done whipped and conquered, your God, the God of Hezekiah, is not going to be able to deliver you. We are going to come and we are going to overtake you. We're going to whip you. We're going to put y'all in slavery. We're going to take your women and children. We're going to destroy y'all. But Hezekiah took the letter and he, he went into the house of the Lord and he spread the letter upon the altar. Second uh, Kings 19 and 14 said Hezekiah received the letter of the, of the messengers. He read it and he went up into the house of the Lord and he spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and he spoke and cried out unto God. And you go on and you read that passage and you will discover that 185,000 people were killed and died because Hezekiah the king, hallelujah, and Isaiah the prophet, the man of God, went into the house of God. He spread the threats on the altar, and he cried out unto God, and God himself allowed an angel of death, a ministering spirit, to go through and slay 185,000 people in one way. That's the God that we serve. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth into it, and they are saved. Listen, we give Jesus the glory. We give him the honor. We give him the praise. Safety is of the Lord. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices, but we understand and know that our God is a strong God. The Lord is a man of war. That's what Moses said in Exodus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank God that he is our great shepherd. And the shepherd will not suffer his sheep to be scattered and be removed. As the woman of God said, oftentimes the enemy will try to seek to strike at the shepherd so that the sheep can be scattered. But we rebuke that plan and we decree and declare that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. We thank God that his angels, his minister and spirit, I see them surrounding. Aha! Thank you, Jesus. He says that the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. They are in camp. I'm talking about in Jacksonville, at our headquarters, I see angels in camp on the four corners of the building. I'm talking about ministering spirits. I see them hovering, wings flapping, as uh, our leaders and teachers and elders, bishop and our executive council, our district fathers and superintendents, hallelujah, our ministers and deacons and teachers and mothers. I see angels, hallelujah, and camp over cars. I see them floating along. Sometimes they're sitting in a passenger seat. You don't see them. They're invisible, but they're in camp. They're taking up position. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. His name is wonderful, wonderful Jesus. And we see him, and we see his ministering spirit encamped around about us. We see that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We see and we understand that God is scattered. No weapon that's formed against us will prosper. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. And so that is our confidence. And we go forward with that assurance and with that boldness and with that courage. Hallelujah. Listen, join us next time, every first and third Monday, as we go back before the throne of God. We go forward today, make it a great day. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.